Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I am back filming a video at my flat for Thursday, this better go up on Thursday. Last week I didn't post any videos because I accidentally left my camera at home, which was kind of annoying, but it was nice to have a break. I thought I would just film a little life update video. I've not filmed one of these in like a little while, so I thought I would just come and update you on my life. It's just gonna be rambly and chatty and literally no specific point to this video, but I thought I would come and sit down anyway just because I didn't know what to film for this video and I wanted to do something kind of chatty. It is about seven o'clock right now. In fact, it is four minutes past seven in the evening and I've just done my makeup to film this video. So appreciate that, please. I've grabbed myself a little cup of tea. I would recommend grabbing one too if you would like to. I am not dairy free, definitely not dairy free. I'm not even meat free at the minute. I have been loving Alpro milk, no, Alpro soya milk, that's it unsweetened alpro soya milk that's you know what i've been literally loving in my teas and my iced coffees in the morning i will not switch back to normal milk now i've had that and i noticed that when i was having like you know just normal milk semi-skimmed milk that my stomach would hurt a little bit if i'd had a cup of tea or if i drank just pure milk by itself i was fine with butter i was fine with you know cheese and everything like that um because it's in smaller amounts but yeah i just sort of noticed that like over the years not just recently like even when i was younger i noticed that as well and i thought you know what i'm gonna try different kind of milks like oat milk um soya milk almond milk don't like almond milk not so keen on oat milk but i think i had a bad experience with um oat milk um i mentioned it in a vlog ages ago can't bother to explain but basically it just looked disgusting <laughs> oh yeah but alpro soya milk honestly like it tastes so creamy and i just love it like i really love the taste of it in my cups of teas and i actually now look forward to having my coffee in the morning and my cups of teas because they specifically taste a lot better than they used to so yeah really love that um i'm not vegetarian because i want to be and if i was to cook for myself i would be vegetarian 100 percent and i love corn like it's just I really like it. I much prefer corn to meat. I prefer cooking with it. I prefer eating it. But unfortunately, I'm, well, not unfortunately, but I'm staying with my parents for the week. And that's because I work um, during the week, which I'll talk about in a minute. And I stay with them because it's close to where I work. And basically, my mum will cook meals quite often. And nine times out of ten, we'll have meat in them. Did I just speak really quickly then? nine times out of ten the meals will have meat in them and, and yeah i can't really control that so yeah maybe i could try and buy some substitutes and just kind of you know tell her just do me a little separate pile and i'll just add like i don't know my own thing because i do much prefer eating vegetarian but when i started eating vegetarian um i didn't i, I did state that if i'm at somebody else's house i'm not going to make them cook something else you know they've already purchased that meat they've already made that meal that animal is already dead so i'm because i'm doing it for an animal reason not for a taste reason um even though i do prefer corn anyway but but i'm rambling yeah i'm happy to cook for myself anyway which i might try and do a little bit more but yeah because i it's definitely an animal thing i just think i don't want to kill something just for me to eat it like that just seems so mean and you know even flies i don't like seeing flies get squished but you know, if you're not vegetarian, that's absolutely fine. Um, you don't have to be vegetarian, it's people's personal choices, but that's just what I wanna do. Um, I'm not dairy free, but I do have Alpro milk. So there we go. But yeah, that leads me on to my job. I did get a job for the summer. It is working for like a seed company. I am on a, the barley team. So I work with people that are similar age to me. They're like, uh, there's, uh, there's about 14 of us and they're all like we're all similar ages we get on really well which is really nice that's one of the things i like about the job is that i get along with everybody really nicely my brother works there my cousin worked there his last day was literally yesterday um so he worked there for like i don't know four or five weeks um but he's got college soon anyway so he had to stop but i'm gonna be still working there for like well over a month but I really enjoy it there basically we harvest barley seeds so us as a group will go to the field we'll pull out barley plants and literally thousands of them and we will then um you know all you know there's us doing different jobs we're not all doing the same job at one time we'll all do different kind of activities but basically those plants will then get in, put into a machine that will remove the seeds we then clean those seeds um some people combine like my brother does combining and seeds go into 
like bags which we then put into boxes which then go in the cleaning machine that then get treated and then after they've been treated I will then put them into like weigh out little uh, weigh them out into like little bags um, for specific amounts to go to specific places so it is um, you know there's a lot going on basically and there's loads of different jobs that we can do there so it just keeps it fresh and it keeps it interesting and I do really enjoy working there I will be sad when I've gone I do like having the routine of getting up in the morning you know I get up about six o'clock half past six and I like that routine of getting up going to work coming back chilling going to sleep feeling really tired I sleep well because I'm so tired. I love it, I enjoy it. I have been drinking coffee a lot more recently because there is a free vending machine there and I've been having a lot of mockers from that machine but I do find it gives me energy. So that's quite annoying because it means that it makes me want them more because I know I'm gonna have more energy if I've drank one. But I'm loving it there so I thought I would just update you on that. Um, like I said, I do live with my parents Monday to Friday. Has the lighting just gone really weird? Anyway, um, yeah, Monday to Friday, I live with my parents and then on the weekends, I come back to my flat, which is where I am now. Basically spend the weekend like cleaning, relaxing, or I might see my friends. Last weekend, it was my friend Emma's birthday. It was her 21st birthday. And yeah, we had a great time. It was really fun. We went out for some drinks. I think I discussed it in last week's weekly vlog, which I posted on Monday. So um, check that out if you'd like to. Another update is that I'm hoping to learn to drive after I finished being at work and um, like, cause I don't have time to do lessons at the minute basically. And I do want to learn to drive because I just see how handy it is and I just really want to. It's one of those things where I just need to kind of do it basically. And I just want to have the ability to be able to drive even if, you know, I don't have a car or even if I don't like, um, you know, need to drive every single day i just want to be able to drive so that's something i'm going to look into i'm starting uni um i've done my three years i passed my exams thank god didn't have to reset anything despite one of them being too hard but anyway um we'll forget about that um yeah i'm doing my masters next year at uni at lincoln uni and i think i'm doing a masters in finance i think that's it i should know kind of worrying <laughs> no I think that is it um and yeah I just chose to do that just because I want to do something to do with finance as a career in the future I don't know what I want to do but I would just like to have that degree there you know if I just just cause you know um but I'm whatever life takes me like people say what do you want to do when you're older uh, well not when you're older because I'm kind of there now but what career would you like to go into I don't know just whatever happens when the time comes I will just look into it. It might be being an accountant. It might be something to do with finance. It might be com something completely different. I really don't know. But yeah, I am going to be going to uni and it's hopefully it will be fun. I know it's going to be hard work, but yeah, I'm going to still live in this flat as well. Um, so I'm still going to be staying in this flat whilst I go there. I'm hoping to get a job where I can work like two days a week just so that I've got like money for things and I can save for things. Like I want to save for a new MacBook when mine dies. Please don't die MacBook, please. I really honestly like I need that money there just in case because I, I need my MacBook. I use it all the time. Um, and I also need to save money for driving lessons. So great. My feet are numb. Give me a second. Um, yeah, um, in terms of my YouTube, my YouTube channel, I am gonna be posting a weekly vlog, hopefully every single week on a Monday. By the way, I'm crouched because um, my feet are numb. But yeah, I'm gonna post a weekly vlog on a Monday. Thursday's video will either be like a sit down video like this. I also, I'm gonna start a new series on my channel where I film like not a podcast but like a YouTube podcast with my mum where we just sit down and probably every two weeks we just chat about certain topics or things that have occurred recently or just whatever comes to our brains and we just sit and chat about it to the camera so I just thought that might be quite interesting for us to do and you know if you want to watch that it will just be very casual and chatty and then I think if anybody has any like suggestions of topics and things then obviously we will talk about it and people might ask questions or something like that like we're just here to answer questions or just discuss certain topics so yeah that's coming um in terms of fresh face so my skincare brand um so I'm still crouched um I am still posting orders I'm still making orders I have still got my Etsy and eBay which will be linked in the description 
always um if you want to follow me on my social medias for my skincare business it is also linked in the description but yeah i'm always available um in terms of products if they're on my website it means that i can post them to you every order comes with a business card and a little thank you note from me and um if you're a regular customer i do sometimes throw in a few freebies so yeah I do have my regulars um so i thought just to kind of update you on that and let you know i've got no new products coming soon i'm just kind of chilling on that front there is ideas of things that i do want to do sort of like more in the like autumn winter kind of months which are kind of more bath timey focused but you'll see um so yeah check out all the links in the description but i just wanted to film a little life update i don't think there's anything else particularly that i sort of want to mention um but i think it's nice to just do one of these every so often because there are things to discuss um and just to see what's happening but yeah apart from that thank you for watching and um i feel like i probably missed something out if i've missed anything out of this video i will write it in the comments so go and check out the comments which will probably just be me commenting by myself but anyway um but yeah thank you for watching and i will see you on monday for another weekly vlog so yeah goodbye